Today we're going to be illustrating a beautiful running white-tailed deer. The supplies you'll need are a graphic pencil and eraser, watercolor pencils, watercolor paint brushes of all different sizes, white gouache, a fine tip black micron pen, and a water cup. Before you pick up your pencil, think about how you want to position your deer on the page. I use my page horizontally because it fits the shape of my deer better than a vertical page would. Always start with a pencil line drawing. Never underestimate this step. You can erase pencil. Paint? Not so much. So take your time and get it right in pencil first. The eraser is your friend. Don't move ahead until you are happy with your line drawing. When your pencil lines are to your satisfaction, you're going to start adding some color. Obviously the overall color of our deer is brown, but there are variations in that brown. You want to find your lightest color and start there. So let's start with this light tan and then build upon it. You're just going to color your pencil drawing. It's kind of fun. I like to lay down my color in the direction that I think the fur is growing. And then with your wet paintbrush, just paint over your color with similar strokes. As I said, there's quite a variation in our brown color, so I want you to look carefully and notice those variations. Don't be afraid to mix colors, even adding in some oranges and reds to add emphasis to areas that are getting less light, and deepening those areas that are shadowed. This may take some time because we're layering our colors to bring out some dimension. Be patient and really study the light, how it changes, and where it falls. Pretty soon, our drawing will start to take on some dimension rather than looking so flat. Once you have added all your color, watercolor pencil first, then the water, we're just going to deepen those colors by continuing to mix and layer them together. Lay some more color with your pencil over her neck with a bit of dark brown or even a deep red, a touch of black maybe. Add some light to her body with a bit of yellow. Pay special attention to shadows and what side of her body they're on. Shadows are not just black, so get creative and find the color. You're going to want to use your smallest brush size for some of these fine details.
I like to use several layers of color, just mixing and blending as I go. The last step includes your little black pen. I enjoy using the 0.005 fine tip micron. You can find that in the link below and some other supplies that I use. But for now, use what you have. This step can make or break the work you've done up to this point, so proceed with caution. The trick is to add just a touch of outline here and there make it a broken line. A little goes a long way, so start small. You can always add more. When it's done well, no one should notice the outline, but you should notice your illustration pop. Okay, so now you should get excited. This is my favorite part, the highlights. Look closely at the lightest parts of her body. This is often where our brightest highlights need to be. So for this step, we're gonna use our gouache. Grab a dry brush and use the paint straight from the tube for the most intense whites, or with a wet brush for a softer white light. It's a quick and easy step, but this is where your illustration comes alive. Don't forget the catch light in the eye. Aw, oh, nuts. Don't worry if you accidentally use too much. Just let it dry for a minute or two and go back over it with a bit more color, black or brown, and then try again. So there you have it, your beautiful white-tailed deer. If you or your children decide to paint along with me, drop me a note or share it on Instagram. Just use the hashtag illustrating underscore with Heidi Joy so I can encourage you along. See you next time.